All right, y'all, sit down, lie down, squat down, but I'm back. Bell tells, I'm going to make a lemon cake, but I'm going to do it in three parts. We are going to do the cake, the filling, and then the buttercream icing. But this recipe came from a dear sweet friend of mine, Angie. It's been in her family since the 1930s or the 1940s. I can't remember. It's been a while. It's an old family recipe. So I've, I've made this a couple different ways. I've done it with blueberries as a filling, and then we've done strawberries. Um, my favorite is the, the lemon cake with the blueberry filling and the blueberry icing. But my husband and son are not big fans of the blueberry, so I've also done it with strawberries. So I'm going to show you all how I do it. So you're going to need three eggs, one cup of buttermilk, one stick of butter, one package of the lemon flavor jello, half a cup of lemon juice, cup and a half of sugar, teaspoon of baking soda, baking powder, and a teaspoon of um, oh, vanilla extract. My mind went blank for a second. Two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Okay, so you're also going to need a sifter. I'm going to get my equipment set up and let's get going. All right, so we've got our stick of butter and we're going to start all right, so we are going with it. And we've got a little bit more mixing to do till it gets completely creamy. All right, so I'm going to add the flour and it is two and a half cups of flour. There's one. Two, and then we're gonna add the half cup. Okay, there's the half. So, and I don't know why my camera is going in and out and being blurry and clear. I don't know. All right, so next we're going to add the sugar. All right, so now we're going to do a cup and a half of sugar. And then the next, and so what I like to do is do the dry ingredients first, then add the wet. Um, the only thing I do before I do anything is get that, try and get that butter as creamy as you can. So it's going to be a teaspoon of baking soda, teaspoon of baking powder. All right, so we have gotten the baking soda. Next, we're going to add the baking powder. All right, here we go with the baking powder. All right, now we're going to add the, um, the lemon jello, which is the pudding. Also, before I forget, you need to preheat your oven to 350. Alrighty, so there we go. We're gonna start it. Well, hold on, start it. All right. Alrighty, here we go with the pudding. Now I'm going to shake the sifter so we can get it nice and uh, fine, and it will. It helps it to blend better, and it makes to me it makes the cake more fluffy when it, after it cooks. Okay, so now do you see why we sift it? Because these did not were not good enough to get get in that mixture, get sifted through. So we're gonna throw that part away, put it back in the blender, and we're gonna start mixing this up. And I keep calling it a blender; it's a mixer. I don't know why I keep calling this. All right, here we go. And I'm gonna start getting the wet ingredients ready, which I'm gonna add a little bit of the lemon zest. We kind of like it in the cake. You don't have to. It's just something we like to do. But I'm going to go ahead and start squeezing those lemons. All right. I've got that lemon juice in there. I'm going to add it to the bowl. And then I'm going to add the cup of buttermilk. All right. Now let's add this buttermilk. And we're going to crank it back up. And make sure it's locked. All right, we are locked. Here we go. And every little bit, you may want to stop to scrape the sides of the bowls. I know definitely when you start making, the, when we make the icing, I have to stop and do that every so often. All right, so we've got it to about there. Let's go ahead and add all three eggs. All right, all three eggs are added. We're going to crank it back up, start mixing again. Thank you. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a pinch of salt. All right, and now the vanilla extract. All right, so while this is finishing up mixing, let's go ahead and prepare our pans. All right, so the pans are done. We're gonna add the cake mixture, and you're gonna cook this anywhere, typically it's between 35 and 45 minutes. I check, start checking it right at 40 minutes. And then if it's good to go, like when you stick the toothpick in and no batter comes out, you're good to go. All right, let's add this. All right, let's put it in the oven for about 40 minutes is what I'm guessing. And the next part, we're gonna work on the filling. All right, so next let's start the filling because it's gotta have time to cool. You will need, I just went and got one 32 ounce container of strawberries. You want blueberries, I would do probably at least 16 ounces of blueberries if you're gonna do the blueberry filling instead. All right, so now we've got to slice up these strawberries. And to save a little bit of time, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it straight into the saucepan so we can save time and dirty less dishes. All right, so I've got the strawberries cut up. I'm going to put this on the stove, turn it on low, start cooking it, and just slowly add sugar until it gets to the juice consistency that I like. Because we are going to use the juice for the cake. Um, I'm gonna show you one of the things I do is I poke holes in the cake, pour the juice over the cake so that strawberry or blueberry, whichever flavor you want, gets saturated in that cake. All right, let's start it. All right, so we've started the cooking process on the strawberries. All right, so I've added some sugar. I'm gonna add, so I've added one fourth a cup of sugar. I'm gonna add another one fourth a cup. Give that a stir and just kinda just keep working with it and just keep watching it. All right, so if we look closely, you can see that that sugar in the heat is starting to bring out the juice from the strawberries. And that's what we're gonna use when we pour it over our cakes. All right, we're getting more juice. I'm gonna add a little bit more sugar, then let that cook, let it get almost to, just right at a boil. Right at a boil, and again, I've got this on a small burner. I turned it up to medium heat. All right, y'all, right there is what I want. That's the consistency I want. So now I'm gonna pull it off the burner, and we're gonna let this cool. Then we're gonna let the cakes cool once this is, the filling is cool, the cakes are cool, we're gonna start on that buttercream icing. See you then. All right, so those are the cakes. We're gonna let those cool. It'll probably be tomorrow morning when I will pick this back up, but we will do the icing then. All right, so we are in the final phase. So the next thing we're gonna do with the cake is we're gonna poke holes in it and then the juice from the fruit we're gonna pour over the cake. I'll show you. All right, so I just take a fork. Oops, you can't see what I'm doing. I can do it that way. All right, so now we're gonna take the juice from the strawberries and then we're just going to spoon it over the cake. And I do that with both of them, and, and, I, and I only do this right before I'm gonna make the icing. Because it will make your cake very, very moist and you don't want it to fall apart. Okay, let me finish. And we'll then we'll start the icing. Okay, so for the butter, you're gonna need powdered sugar, butter. I'm uh, not for the butter, for the icing, I'm sorry. Powdered sugar, butter, salt, and about two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So the rule of thumb is for every one stick of butter, you need two cups of the powdered sugar. So I'm gonna put the butter in and start getting that mixed in. Okay, and so the butter, you wanna mix it till it looks almost like um, icing itself. So it's gonna start off like that and you just gotta keep working with it till it starts to look like icing itself. 
All right, so this is how the butter will start to look. And so I just add a cup of powdered sugar at a time and let it mix in. All right, so here we've got our one cup of powdered sugar. We are going to add our second cup and in between cups, I scrape the side of the bowl. All right, so let's go ahead and add the vanilla extract. We are now at two cups of powdered sugar. Eventually, here in just a second, we're gonna be at three cups of powdered sugar. All right, so that's what the icing's looking like. So I'm gonna get it out of the mixer, the rest of the icing, and then we'll scrape it off the sides of the bowl. And then we're gonna start icing this cake. Okay, so one of the things I do like to do to help add a little bit of flavor to the icing is add a little bit of the juice from the fruit. Um, but you gotta do it like two, teaspoon, two tablespoons at a time because otherwise I have made my icing runny in the past. So we're gonna start icing the first layer. All right, so we've got the first layer of cake iced. Now I'm going to put the strawberries on top of the cake the first layer. All right, so the first layer is done. We've got the strawberries for in the middle. I'm gonna put the second layer of cake on and we're gonna ice it. Okay, second layer's on, I'm gonna ice it. And I, I think I've added too many strawberries in the center, it's okay. We're just gonna go with it. All right, y'all, and that's it. That is the lemon strawberry cake. All right, please and thank yous are a must. Smile never hurt no one. Be cognizant of the things you say and how you say them. Because kindness is priceless. Bye, y'all.